This is how you can create simple zoom out effect in Premiere Pro. Let's dive in. I've already imported the clip onto the timeline. Now I want to add a little bit of drama and tension to the scene, so I'm going to cut the clip a few seconds in and insert this speedometer footage in between. By the way, I've included a link to the project assets in the video description. Feel free to check it out. Okay, I'll move five frames forward and cut the clip. I don't need the rest of it. Depending on how fast or slow you want the effect to be, you can use more than five frames. All right, now that we have the basic structure in place, let's add the zoom out effect. Select that last clip and head over to the effects panel, where we'll apply the transform effect. In the effect controls panel, scroll down to the transform section and click on stopwatch icon next to scale to set a keyframe. Move this keyframe to the end and set the scale value to 175, then place the keyframe at the starting frame. You can adjust the value based on your preference. For smoother animation, you can set the first keyframe to ease out and the second one to ease in. And let's not forget about the motion blur. I'll uncheck the use composition shutter option and play around with the shutter angle until I get the perfect amount of blur. Now, let's see how it all comes together. Impressive, right? But we're not done yet. If you haven't skipped the video, you'll know that our effect lasts only for 5 frames. So select the remaining clips and change their time duration to 5 frames. If you're using this method, make sure all the clips have the same frame rate and resolution. Now, getting back to the effect first, unlink the speed and duration chain, then set the duration up to 5 frames. Finally, drag and drop all the clips onto the timeline. Then copy the last clip where we applied the zoom out effect. Press the A key to select all track forward and paste the attributes. I just want to extend the time duration of our last clip. And there you have it. You can make it even better by adding background music and sound effects. Oh, and with slip tool, you can drag inside the clip to reposition the content. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to check out my other Premiere Pro videos. Thanks for watching and happy editing.